water blocks. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, I am actually um, the product manager for oh, Open Loop you Calling. Are? I am the product manager for Open Loop Calling. Um, okay. So we're going to be going into the um, Open Loop market with some great um, quality CPU blocks and GPU blocks. Um, this one's a, a nickel plated glass top block with a nickel plated copper base. Um, you can kind of see the um, the fins if you get the, the light right. They're really really fine. So it's really hard to see. But yeah, they have really, really thin fin structure. It uses a, um, a jet system to, to fire the water across the, the fins for awesome cooling. So we make the blocks in, the, um, in Germany. So really, really good quality. Um, the, the graphics card block is a full, uh, full copper, full cover block with nickel plating. And it also uses the fin system. So, you know, the, the ultimate in, in cooling, the ultimate in quality. All right, so you're in charge of the, the nice water block cooler zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, look at this. something I'm working on. Made in Germany, so high quality stuff, nickel plated. And again, what Pascal said earlier was the, uh, the super thin uh, fins right here at the base. Yeah, they're 200 micrometers in width. Wow. So, very nice. Okay, tell us what, what about this? This is yeah, that's uh, the terminal, so if you turn that round, it's so you can add multiple uh, graphics card blocks to uh, one loop. Okay, nice. You just connect them all together really easily. Okay, nickel plated, I like this. So this is uh, for which uh, GPU? Uh, that's for the 1080, 1080 Ti, 1070. 1080, 10, 1070, and uh, the Ti as well, yeah. 1080 Ti. And then your back plates, you have these yeah. in Corsair? Yeah, they, they, come, they come with They the come with all the... Uh, what a blog, okay. Yeah. And then you have fittings. These fittings are also new? Um, they're, they're concept, we're still finalizing those. We're still working on them. All right, so we have a nice tee uh, and uh, yeah, degree. We're going to be doing black and chrome in all the usual sizes and uh, hard tube and compression fittings. All right, black and chrome. Mm -hmm. So these are, again, uh, you see a lot of manufacturers now doing these fittings for water cooling. You know why? Because water cooling is becoming a little bit of a trend now. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, you got to be in the market for that. Well, you got big, all these fittings. There's a big demand for it because a lot of people have all-in-one coolers. They now want to a bit. The next step. Next step. And, they like and, the and then obviously more concepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. concept reservoir. So reservoir. That's the cool. And what is that metal bar in the middle? What does that do? So the tube is actually glass, so it keeps oh, the glass on top on because you can't thread the glass. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's nano-coated glass, so it doesn't scratch, it doesn't stain. Yeah. It's, it's a really clear finish, so you can see the, the, the coolant really well. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a structural thing to keep the top and bottom on. Okay, yep. So glass. So most reservoirs are using the uh, the acrylic, right? So this one is glass. Uh, has a very nice solid feel to it. Uh, yeah, so this is concept. So where do you think we'll be seeing these on the market? Uh, you'll start to see the blocks in about three months' time. Okay, cool. And then the rest of it will follow afterwards. Right, price range is uh, competitive? Yeah, price range is competitive to current brands, but we don't have any pricing or naming. All right, okay, so uh, what's going to be this brand? You know, you have different keyboards, different brands, right? And names for Corsair. You don't have the names just yet. Oh, so you're going to come up with a name, right? It's going to be called Pascal Cooling.